Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Welcome back, everyone. Now, if you're just tuning in, you missed a really great segment about exploring your genealogy, understanding where you came from. And this correlates really well with something that my father used to say all the time when I was young, mostly when I was in trouble. It's all about your roots, mijita. That's right. And that's always stuck with me. <laughs> Even my friends remember him for it. One, because it's funny. He said it with an accent. Two, because it's so true. Yes. And so our Monday motivation is stick to your roots. Why? Because it really helps define and shape who you are, where you're going, where you came from, right? So the first part that I think is important is to know your history and be proud of where you came from. Now, Jocelyn, how does this relate to you in your life? I know you're very proud of where you've come from. I'm very proud of where I'm from, especially having family in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And something my father always tells me to this day is my last name, Dwalra. Dwalra Strong. Like, you, yeah. you got to stay strong no matter what. Um, just very proud of my family, having family, my roots, mm -hmm. Louisiana, yeah. and then especially here in South Texas. My grandma, my grandma was from Harlingen, mm -hmm. um, so I'm still kind of exploring the history of where my family was from. But I'm really just proud to say that. Absolutely, and so that goes back, you know, maybe a decade or two. Right. Some people don't have the luxury of being very, very proud of their immediate family. Mm. Maybe you had a troubled childhood. That's some, right. you know, everybody has a different situation. But that doesn't mean you can't go back to your ancestors and realize, wow, I came from this, that, or the other. I mean, there's really so much potential. I don't even want to name a specific situation because mm -hmm. like I said in the last segment, I found out that I'm 60 something percent Southern European. Never in my life would I have guessed That's that I had any roots over there. Right. Yeah, so it's very interesting. And now I'm even more inspired than before to travel over there and see where my ancestors came from. And like Ralph said in the last segment, noticing some correlation and behavior and the way that you look. So that brings us to our next topic is your values, mm -hmm. right? Um, a lot of times that's defined by how you were raised. Yes. I know my parents raised me to be humble, to be a good person, to stand up for what I believe in. What are some qualities that you inherited from yours? Very, very similar to what you just said. Really just bringing joy to others, treating others with respect and the way you want to be treated. Absolutely. My mom always told me, Jocelyn, smile, smile at everybody. Mm -hmm. Make them feel loved and welcome. And that's really what, you know, I've, I've said this on the show, I feel like numerous times, mm -hmm. bringing joy to others and uplifting them brings me more joy than anything else. So really just respecting others, loving on people who need it, and just mm -hmm. showing their worth is, is crucial to me. I can't, Absolutely. I can't say that enough. Well, and it's not just something you talk about. You act on it. And that brings me to the next topic is regardless of what your values are, how you were raised, are you putting on a show or are you truly living by those standards? Right. And in that situation, it's how you treat others on a day-to-day -day basis. When you meet a stranger, what is their first thing that they notice about you, about your demeanor? People will say, you're so humble, you're so kind, you're always giving mm -hmm. compliments. And when it's genuine, that's when somebody's going to inform you that they noticed that about you, right. right? So another way to move that forward into the society we live in is mm -hmm. to volunteer our time, to help others, to give to a charity. If it's something you believe in and it's one of your values, you want to help children, um, you want to help the less fortunate, how are you doing so? And it's, it's by action. What are people going to remember you for when you're gone, right? Mm -hmm. um, moving on to the next one is really maintaining those values, standing up for what you believe in mm -hmm. within reason. Some people have very firm beliefs. I mean, Hitler was alive <laughs> at one point in time. So it doesn't, there's a gray area there, of course. But when you know you have good intentions, are you following through with those intentions, right? Last but not least, be unapologetically you. I think we live in a world of constant criticism and yes, bullying, but that goes along with your right to free speech. But I think as long as you can be yourself and you own it, the right people will gravitate towards you, giving you a more fruitful life. Agreed? Agreed. All right, we're going to explore this more because we're really into this genealogy yes. thing too.